Did you own assets on Celsius or FTX when they went under? And now those assets are tied up in bankruptcy proceeding? What do you do? You may or may not in prior years have claimed some tax loss. I, you know, there's a lot of different ways of done that, but you may or may not have received that. Let's say you had $1,000 of assets on one of those exchanges and you claimed a loss of 50%. Now, you get a payout from Celsius or FTX's bankruptcy proceedings. What do you do with that? It all depends on how much loss you claimed in prior years. Some people claimed 100% loss. So out of that $1,000, they claimed all of it lost in prior years. But now, all of a sudden, you get a payout, let's say $200 worth. What do you do? Well, under Section 111 of the tax code, you're going to have to report a recovery of tax credit. You basically have to report that as income. And in that scenario, that would have been a, a $200 of pure profit. What happens if you had never claimed a loss on Celsius, never claimed a loss on FTX? Basically, those were frozen. You couldn't claim the loss. You then get a $200 payout from one of those. What do you do that? Well, in a sense, you have had a capital gains event. You're going to, on your tax return, you're going to say, I paid $1,000 to Celsius and I got $200 back. So that would look like an $800 loss. So what you're going to report for your, your payout from Celsius or FTX is going to depend on what you claimed in prior years. Ultimately, it's tax neutral, but it has to do with when you claimed it and whether it's going to be a, a gain or a loss for you. What happens if you have a coin that you can no longer sell? It's become effectively worthless. You can't find anywhere to sell it. Can you write that off as a loss? Well, the IRS came out with a procedures last year to, uh, on this particular question. And the issue has to do with have you actually tried to sell it? Just because it looks worthless and it's fairly worthless doesn't mean it is worthless. I mean, we all know you know, altcoins coming out there listed at 0 0.000001 cent, you know, and people are buying them. But just because it goes to 0 0.000001 cent doesn't mean it's worthless, all right? You actually, in order to write it off as a loss, you actually have to try to have sold it. You act, if it's available for sale, you really need to dispose of that now. Uh, if you can show that no, there's absolutely no demand for that coin that's com gone completely worthless, and if you can document that and that you actually tried to sell it, then you can get away with not having sold it. But uh, there's always people out there buying junk coins. So you now, uh, with reporting uh, worthless coins, you have to sell them. So you should try to sell these if you want to catch a tax savings by uh, December 31st. Try to unload those things. That's like easy uh, tax loss harvesting for this year coming forward. And you need to look for these opportunities because we're all expecting 2024 is going to be a profitable year. Come the bull market. If you have a coin, token, NFT, that has become utterly worthless and you like to do tax loss harvesting on it, and there's no place really to sell it because nobody wants it, what can you do? You can send it to a burn address. Uh, different blockchains have different addresses, but basically you send it to that address and you effectively are giving up ownership to it. The key is that you give up ownership to it. At that point in time, what did you get for in, in receipt for sending it to that burn address? You got zero dollars. So your proceeds from that is zero dollars. You bought it for something, say a thousand dollars. Now you sold it for zero. You can now claim on your tax return a thousand dollar loss. This is something that you should think about as you come in towards the end of the tax year as a tax loss harvesting technique to capture some of these losers and 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 get some silver lining out of them by claiming a tax loss. This is complicated. You may need to get involved with a tax professional to make sure it's done right. Uh, or you can call our offices at cryptotaxaudit.com. We can set up a consultation with you. Thank you very much for listening to today's show. And I hope you enjoy it. Please give us comments. We would love to respond to any questions you give us. If you have tax questions that we can apply to. We will try to address it in future shows. Please hit like, subscribe, follow. Thank you. Have a great day. The Clinton Donnelly Show, where we explore how taxation and regulations of cryptocurrencies affect your daily life as an investor. Clinton has a law degree in international financial regulation. He is an enrolled agent and certified as a cryptocurrency anti-financial crime specialist. He has clients in 71 countries. 
He is one of the top experts in crypto taxation in the US. This show is sponsored by CryptoTaxAudit.com, the income tax experts for US crypto investors. Are you frustrated with using online crypto tax services to calculate capital gains? Are you a high frequency trader, DeFi, NFT, play to earn or quail mm -hmm. investor? Nothing is too complicated for the experts at CryptoTaxAudit.com. Are you frustrated that your accountant doesn't understand crypto taxes? Crypto Tax Audit uses a proven, bulletproof crypto tax return methodology to prepare a tax return that doesn't attract the attention of the IRS. Crypto Tax Audit also offers an exclusive audit defense membership service. It's like car insurance for your tax return. If your return gets selected for an audit of crypto reporting, they will defend you at no additional charge for the entire life of the audit. No one offers anything like audit defense membership. Go to CryptoTaxAudit.com to learn more and schedule a private tax consultation now. The opinions expressed in this show are not legal advice. Tax and regulations are complicated. Your situation is unique, so you should always consult a tax professional.